I bought a $7,500 1976 Datsun Twitty Z when I was 19. And it was my first car learning how to build and modify a car. You see them as collector cars now, but I saw it as my Etch-a-Sketch with the ability to handle any dumb thing I could throw at it, including a supercharged V8 and a six-speed swap. The car was a pain in the ass, but what project car is it? I sold that car. My first properly modified one. The car I got my marriage photos in. The one that supported my move to start at Fitment. And now four and a half years later, I'm buying another one. Not an old Z, a new one. That chapter is behind me and for some reason I feel compelled to just let that chapter stay closed and instead open a new one with a car that has been received like opening a bag of chips that's half filled with air. Now I hate dealers, but my allocation let me have this one at MSRP with no markup. And I can honestly see my old Z in this car. The badge, the typical Nissan interior, the flared arches, and the lack of rear seats. But now with me starting Martini Works, it's like a new chapter. No one seemed to have driven these cars yet, with most going wide body to then just dropped off the face of the earth. So instead, I'm going to beat the shit out of this one. I am in fact going to etch a sketch this car for Martini Works, and you and I are going to see if this car is actually worth the Z name. I'm Alex Martini, and I hope you follow along.